It is now less than a month until we hear Apple reveal their new iPhone 16 series, promising bigger screens and better battery life, new colors, a new button, faster charging, better connectivity, Apple intelligence. While Apple intelligence will be one of the biggest main points to talk about at the iPhone 16 event, there's still a lot of key upgrades to look forward to as we have seen in the recent leaks. So in case you don't know, just to give you a recap, we're going to see four models iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and the 16 Pro Max. Earlier this year, we've seen Apple experimenting with a lot of new designs for the iPhone 16 Pro series, but turns out it's going to have the same kind of look as the previous iPhone generations, with a big visual change being the new Desert Titanium color, along with record-breaking, the thinnest smartphone bezels ever up front with the Dynamic Island. Now there has been a major report coming out revealing some of the new iPhone 16 series camera features. The 16 Pro and the Pro Max are indeed getting the new significantly improved ultra-wide angle lens at 48 megapixel resolution. Not just that, unlike other smartphone brands with high megapixel ultra-wide angle sensor, Apple will likely allow users to shoot 24 megapixel default ultra-wide angle photos just like the main sensor, meaning just like the main sensor at default setting where most people shoot photos, Apple could beat all the competition. 16 Pro as well as 16 Pro Max will now be able to record 3K videos with 120 frames per second using Dolby Vision. Apple has also been reported to introduce a new photo format named JPEG XL with the iPhone 16 series. From the title, the iPhone 16 series is expected to capture some excellent JPEG images when using this series of iPhone 16 cameras. There's an additional pressure sensitive camera button that will be available across all iPhone 16 models. This new button will allow users will not just be able to capture videos and photos, however, you can also press half of it for certain camera functions, such as the ability to lock exposure or focus if you're taking manual shots. This capture button will be open to third-party apps and developers, so you're going to see this being used and integrated in social media apps in pretty much no time. Now on the inside, we'll see the Apple A18 chip on the iPhone 16 and the 16 Plus, and the A18 Pro Bionic chip, on the iPhone 16 Pro and the Pro Max. Now thanks to the new A18 chip, regardless of which iPhone model you get, you're likely going to get all the Apple intelligence features which are set to debut with the iOS 18 later in 2025. Of course, the first set of Apple intelligence features will get the rollout in October with major features coming throughout the next year. And lastly, except the iPhone 16 Plus, all the iPhone 16 models are getting the biggest battery upgrade that they have ever gotten compared to previous generations. With the iPhone 16 Pro Max having the biggest battery size, this could very well be the best battery performing phone on the market combined with the new efficiency of the second gen 3 nanometer Apple A18 Pro chip. So there we go, 9th September it is, iPhone 16 series officially getting announced. And that is pretty much what we know so far. What do you think? Are you going to be tempted to upgrade or are you going to give it a miss this year? Let me know what you make of the new 16 series.